Uh, today we have a quick little video on uh, EXV TXV swap out. We're not going to go through the procedure, but we will uh, go over what to do and what to look for throughout the process. So right here we have an EXV. We have its wiring uh, clear up to the harness and the uh, connectors. From the connectors, we have an F SMS module. Uh, for this instance, just hanging here, usually it's strapped into the side wall here. Uh, simple process to remove. There's four screws. Undo all four and it should just pull right off. Uh, from there, we have our transducer right here and our thermistor. They're both strapped onto the suction line. We have our liquid line coming into our EXV. And then we have our suction line coming out of our EXV, out of the bottom there. Uh, the first step would be to remove all the wiring, the transducer, the thermistor, clear up to the wiring harnesses, SMS module. Uh, next, once you've cut the wires out, remove them, unbraze your EXV at the liquid line here, pull it out, then unbraze at the suction line right here and remove it. Once that's finished, your lines will be open and be good to go to uh, start installing the TXV. All right, now that we've uh, replaced the EXV with the TXV, uh, we'll go over what we did and uh, a few things to look for and important tips. Um, first off, if you notice, we have our liquid line coming in, brazed into our TXV here. From there, we have our suction line coming out the bottom. The thicker tube there that runs back, <clears throat> that's going into our evaporator, very important. You can see the blue cap tubes coming off of it going into our evaporator. From there, we have our suction line leaving the evaporator. It comes out. At that point, we have our external equalizing tube from our TXV. Comes out the back side here. Going into our suction line. This is very important uh, for one, the location as well as the way you install it. All right, there's two ways to install it. You can braze it in like you see here, or you can use a flare nut. Uh, the flare nut would be installed on the transducer uh, Schrader valve that you saw in the previous video uh, just before we moved on to the TXV. Um, the important step on that is if you're using the Schrader valve from the previous transducer, then you will need to make sure you remove the Schrader core. Um, if you don't remove the Schrader core, your flare joint that you'd be making for this uh, does not have a Schrader depressor on it, so you would your TXV uh, essentially would not be working uh, the way it needed to be. Also, uh, try to remember to leave a port or install port if you don't have two on your suction line. Uh, this is just very important uh, for the future use if you need to hook up your uh, low side gauge. It just makes it easier and an uh, easy place to access. Notice all the wiring's gone. Uh, all we have left is this little wiring harness right here. That can just hang in the back. Another thing to note is our sensing bulb. Uh, this is very important that you have the correct location for it see that it comes down and it's strapped on the suction line leaving the evaporator. Uh, if you don't have it in that particular area your TXV is not going to work correctly. Um, you're not going to get the correct superheat. Uh, you, it's just it's not going to work. Um, so definitely remember where to put your sensing bulb uh, on the suction line leaving the evaporator. Very important. 